back to Anthony and Larry Play. I'm Anthony Gamer, and I'm Larry, Larry the Lion. And today we're going to be playing the Atari 2600 game, Pizza Chef. Now, if you're not familiar with this game, here's a quick introduction about the game itself. Now, originally, Pizza Chef was to be made by a game company called Zymag. Uh, they actually put out ads and everything for the game, but they, for some reason, didn't put it out. However, a company called CCE, which is a company based out of South America, specifically Brazil, uh, got a hold of the game and they released it. Now, if you're not familiar with CCE, they're a game company that is mostly well known for making bootlegs of already released Atari 2600 games. What you're looking at here is the ad that Zymag uh, put out for the game. Of course, the game itself is very different than the screenshot that you're looking at, which, of course, that is nothing new. But anyway, to summarize, in this game, you take on the role of Chef Antonio. Uh, the chef at your mom's pizzeria quit, and you have to come in and fill in. So that's pretty much it. Yep, you're going to be making pizzas. Um, now, if that was all there was to it, it wouldn't be much of a game, now would it? Nope, it wouldn't. So you have... Uh, Waiters that are getting in your way, you have to deal with rats. You, Yeah, I know. Uh, obviously, nobody uh, from the health department's been there. Then you have to get the correct ingredients and put them in the oven and make the pizza. Yep. And each level, uh, 25 of them in total, have different pizzas and different ingredients that you have to make. Uh, another thing we want to mention before we get started playing today, that this game has a lot of flicker and some kind of strobic effects uh, as we care a lot about our viewers so we're putting that warning out there that if you are sensitive to uh, such things you may want to click out and just come back at another time uh, it might not be that bad but you know it's better to be safe than sorry so if you're not able to join us for this video uh, we completely understand and we'll see you in the next time that Larry and I get together now what we're gonna do is we're going to play two levels of the game we're going to play level 1 and level 2. Now, if you're not familiar, this game actually has 25 different levels. And the furthest I've ever gone is like level 7, because it gets real difficult after that. But regardless, so uh, we're going to do level 1, and whoever gets the highest score, or should I say, uh, gets their pizza completed in the shortest amount of time is the winner. Then we're going to go on to level 2. Now, if the same person wins both levels, then that person is the winner. If, however, uh, one person wins one and one person wins the second level, we'll go into level three dead overtime. So, are you ready, Larry? Oh yeah, I'm ready whenever you are. All right then, so let's get started on playing. Anthony and Larry plays Pizza Chef. All right, as is tradition, whoever picked the game, the other person gets to go first and Larry, I chose the game, so you're going first. Yep. Okay, so let's do a little interpretation here. Um, first thing we're doing is you pick up an instrument of some kind. Now, we're going to say that's a, a measuring bowl. Yep. And you've just picked up spices. Now, that was pretty much uh, explained in the instructions. All right, so we got to get four spices and four bricks of cheese for our pizza so yeah i'm just picking up each item here now you go into the freezer uh you better explain okay sorry you go into the freezer uh, actually first you go into like the pantry i guess and you're picking up uh, that measuring cup and then you go into the freezer and you pick up the items you need to make the pizza now, keep in mind that um, we change, set this, the difficulty so that if you get tripped, like if you slip and fall on the ice in the freezer, you got to go back and pick up the item again. Yeah, there's the cheese. Yep. Now, we kind of interpret that as being cheese, and the other thing is spices. Actually, we didn't interpret that. It kind of was... One of the few things that were explained in the limited instructions. I mean, they didn't even have an instruction booklet. It's like this little card, and it was in Portuguese. 
and um, someone on the Atari Age forums actually uh, put it through Google Translation, and then somebody else actually did cleaned up the translation. So ah, them darn waiters. Yeah, I know. I used to work in a restaurant. Did that ever happen to you? Well, not really. No, I mean. Actually, I got along pretty well with the wait staff when I worked at the truck stop, and uh, they only let me in the kitchen like one time. I usually worked at the register, but. All right, so here we go. Yeah, be careful. Watch that ice. Yeah, did you ever slip and fall on the ice in the freezer? Uh, actually, a couple times I did, and that was when I worked at McDonald's. So, I. Oh. Yeah, they're just walking around, not even paying attention. Nope. Now, I think if there had been more uh, memory available to the programmers at the time, uh, they probably would have had tables, too, that you could have, you know, tried to avoid. <coughs> but with a limited amount of memory, yeah, it's, I'll tell you, that's that can be so annoying. You're trying to get your ingredients, and you got to go in and out of the freezer and find those ingredients and not only that but then you got to be careful and make sure that they're not buried in the ice or that you can get the items and then go around the ice without breaking your neck yeah it's a good thing you turn the sound off yeah uh, you may have noticed those of you that are uh, viewing this that we turn the sound off uh, because if you read the review uh, that Matt Reichert put on his Atari Protos page the sound is extremely annoying. Like every step you take, it makes this dee 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 sound, and it just takes away from the game. So, if you're able to play this yourself, uh, we do recommend it. It's a pretty fun game. Uh, not perfect, of course, but it's a really fun game. And uh, but it's one of those games where you just, if you're smart, turn off the sound because it will drive you nuts. All right, you're almost done. Yep. Okay. Four spices and four cheeses for the pizza. Okay. Put it in. Now you have to put it in the correct oven. Oh, wrong oven. Yeah, that's one thing about this game that makes me mad. I mean, you can't really tell which oven is the right oven. No, because, like, the eyes will flash on your character, but then, even then, sometimes, it's just a luck, it's just lucky guess. And I really think that the programmers should have found a way to let you know that, hey, this is the right oven, instead of, you know, giving you a wild guess, because you lose time if you pick the wrong one, because then you got to go back and get the last ingredient. And there we go. Come on. And you did it. Your score was 1502. All right, now it's your turn. Okay. Okay, now it's my turn. Okay, Larry got the score of 15.02. Let's see if I can beat that. And we kind of interpret that as being a measuring cup. Oh. Yeah, because they don't really say. No, you kind of got to... What you know is something that is really cool about Atari. In, oh, dang it, that ice. One thing that's really cool about Atari uh, is you kind of are able to... You have to use your imagination sometimes to figure out what things are which you know is lost on games nowadays because nowadays you know exactly what it is you're getting well it's a good thing we put that warning in that flicker is pretty bad yeah I, I wonder if that's something you know that the programmers could have fixed before they released it I don't know, know if that's something that was unfixable I, I'm not a programmer so I don't know if, like, uh, Thomas or John or Edward, if you're watching this, 
let us know in the comments section below if that's something that can be eliminated. Because it's not just the recording. I mean, there's sometimes with some games that when they're recorded, you see flicker really bad. But this is not this flicker that you're... Oh, dang it. Now I got to go back and pick up something again. I hate that when I slip in the ice. Yeah, maybe you should have left and came back for that one. That ice is pretty heavy. Yeah. But anyway, like I was saying, um, I don't know if that's something that could have been eliminated because, as I said, that, that flicker you're seeing in the video is just as bad on the game. You know, it's not a recording thing. It's it's actually really that bad. That's the uh, reason we gave that warning before we started because, you know, we really care about all of our viewers, you guys are just amazing and you're like family to us. And, you know, we just want to warn, you know, our viewers, if anyone has, you know, issues with, you know, flicker and strobic, stroboscopic stuff that, you know, we, it would break our hearts if anybody got sick or something because of, you know, a video of ours that they watched. That's why we put that warning in. So. But yeah, like I said, I, I wonder if that's something that could have been fixed. Because, you know, that flicker is just... That's crazy. Yeah. Alright, watch where you're going. Oh, come on. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, it's uh, really annoying if you get one of the ingredients wrong. Oh yeah, if you get one of the ingredients wrong, you gotta go out back behind the restaurant and down this flight of stairs and throw it in the garbage. And of course you just can't walk straight down the stairs. You gotta like hit the button as you're going down. Oh yeah, it's a pain. So needless to say, we we did our homework before playing this so that we wouldn't have to. Oh, what? darn it. So that we wouldn't have to worry about, you know, going up and down the stairs. You know, by getting the wrong ingredients. Yeah, in later levels, though, it gets real interesting because you... Not only do you have to get the right utensil, I mean, you have the three things. You have the pot, the bowl, and the measuring cup, but then you have to get the right ingredients. And sometimes the colors of the ingredients can be a little slightly different than what you're seeing. And so, you know, it, it's pretty much trial and error. Okay. Putting it in. Last ingredient. Can I pick the right oven? Nope. Darn it. Okay. Ooh. Lucky, that's a... Yep, slide out of there. Okay, we're going to put that last ingredient in and see if I can pick the right oven. And I did. All right, my score is 1535, so I win round one. All right, we're on level two now. Okay. Yeah, I got to grab the pot right, because this time the ingredients are a little bit different. Now, what do you think that stuff is? I think it's probably spinach. That's I'm going to say it's spinach. Unless somebody thinks different, let us know. Okay, four. You have four different ingredients. You got spinach, cheese, spice, and I'm going to say that's mushroom because in the advertisement they say mushroom. So we're going to say mushrooms. And it kind of what it, it's what it looks like to me. What are you doing? I'm trying to wait for the spinach. Okay. And then right above you there, that's the mushroom. At least that's what I think it is. That's what it looks like. And they mention it in the ad. So let's just go out on a limb and say that 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 those are mushrooms. And that kind of looks like a pot that you're putting them in. So oh, 
I'll come back. Nope. I think you're looking for that one. Oh, that's kind of you're gonna you might trip, dude. That sets a little close. No, that's why I'm grabbing the mushroom. Oh, okay. I was just I thought maybe you were going for that spinach because it's right sitting right on that ice block there. All right, here we go. Hey, right, watch where you're going, jerk ass. Hey, language. Sorry. But yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, I know. I don't know what you're looking for. Uh, I want it to be like it, it calls to me. Oh, Lord. All right. Oh, got the mushroom seed. Can you get out of here? Oh, nice one. Yep. So what I'm doing is I'm going to get all the ingredients for the pot, and then I'm going to switch out and get the ingredients using the measuring cup. Okay, then. Nope, oh, almost forgot what I was doing. Oh, hey, watch it. Watch out for those rats. Because if they knock you down, you got to go back, go back and pick it up again, too. Oh, hey, this isn't Ratatouille. Nope. Yeah, remember what happened to that restaurant when they found out there were rats. Yeah, of course, you're not going to tell because... You know, you're playing Chef Antonio and it's your mama's restaurant, so I don't think that he would actually tell on his mother. Okay, the first cheese. So you got one more cheese and you got two spices. Okay, got it. Watch your step. Oh, good one. Yeah, that was a kind of a tight fit there. Also, to let you guys oh, let you guys know that uh, if you switch the difficulty to B, uh, you won't lose the items if you slip and fall. But we wanted to add a little bit of diff little layer of difficulty to the game. Yep. Okay. Oof. That's got to be some kind of health code violation. They have, you know, ice on the floor in the freezer. There's probably a leak somewhere. That can't be good. But let's not try to find logic in the video game. Nope. Uh, or cartoons. Yeah. Well, cartoons have their own kind of logic. I think that was a subject that they uh, studied on uh, Tiny Toons. You know, when they went to Acme University, I think there actually was a class on cartoon logic, so... You know, kind of like you won't fall, uh, a tune won't actually fall until they look down. Okay, here we go. Last ingredient. Can you pick the correct oven? Nope. Arr. What's the point of having those eyes flash like that if it doesn't tell you anything? I don't know. Well, one of these days... Oh, there we go. All right, last ingredient. Let's see. Can you pick the correct oven? Nope. Denied again. Ah, oh, come on. This is getting ridiculous. Oh, and you got knocked down again. Now I'm beginning to see why that chef quit. Yeah, I mean, between getting knocked down by the waiters... Slipping and falling in the freezer and having rats. Yeah, I I think I would 
seek employment elsewhere myself. Working in a restaurant is hard. I've done it, you know, in different types of restaurants. Okay, let's see if you can get it. No. Oh, come on. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, that's really affecting your time. You know, like I was saying, working at a restaurant is hard work. I, I did it when I was in high school and in college, and I applaud anyone who has decided to make a career of it. Okay, pick one. All right, and you got it. 1325. All right, now it's your turn. Okay. All right, here we go. Come on, you guys, seriously. You ever think they're intentionally trying to knock you over because you're the owner's son? Eh, maybe. Yeah, because sometimes they just kind of appear out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm gonna do them I'm gonna do the measuring cup ingredients first. With the spice, one cheese, no, two cheese, two spice, two mushrooms, two spinach. Uh, you're going to slip. Nope, I didn't. Ah, uh, lucky. Yeah, that last time you played, you had that one that was right in the ice, and I thought you were going for it, but. All right, one cheese left. Yep. What do you think the mother ingredients are? You know, I've been thinking about that. Um... I think that little green bar is probably like peppers. That that would be my guess. All right now I gotta pick. Let's go and get the the pot. Watch out. Yeah, those rats are about as unpredictable as those waiters. Dang. Uh, again, what do you think about the ingredients? Okay, now I am guessing that those other things, those like peach, I'm going to say those might be pepperoni. That would be my guess. I'm just saying it because they're round and, you know. I mean, you think about actually playing this is kind of making me hungry. Yeah. I mean, that is a really uh, delicious. Now, what what about that thing? All right, I'm going to say that brown thing there, I would say it's probably pork sausage. And what about the green thing? Um, I'm going to say green pepper or green onions. That That's my interpretation anyway. Yeah, now that you mention it, I am kind of getting hungry. Yeah, I mean, come on. Uh, Cheese, mushroom, spinach, pizza. Oh, man, that sounds good right about now. Uh, you got any pizzas in the oven, in the uh, freezer? No, not that I know of. Want to order out? You buying? All right. Yeah, after we get done with this, let's order out. All right. You get the tip. That's fine. 
Are we going to tell the wives? Nope. All right, last ingredient, last little bit of spinach. Nope. You going to go for it? Yep. But what about that O? Ah, <sighs> wow, that's a good question. Maybe that's onion. Yeah, maybe that's onion and the round green thing is bell peppers. I, I yeah, you know, it's it's really it's hard to say. All right. Now, can you pick the right oven? Uh, I'm going to try this one. Nope. Nope. Denied. Uh, poo. All right. Ooh, spinach. Stay out of my way, boys. I'm on a mission from Gad. No, you're not. You're just trying to get a better score than me. That's true. All right. Can I do it? Nope. Man. Oh. Uh-uh. There we go. Might as well have just gift-wrapped it. Uh, don't be so smart. It's kind of a tight fit between the ice. What about that other... Th oh, I'm thinking that was another pepper up there. I don't know. Let's just say those are like peppers and onions and leave it at that. And do we got it? Nope. Denied again. Man, there's got to be some way. I personally don't think there is. I think it's just luck. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb, too. I, I think that's like a... Oh, that's some kind of onion. So let's just say anything green is onions or peppers. Well, except for that. Right. And here we go. I'm going to try again. And I got it. I win with 13 minutes and 50 seconds. Well, it looks like I won. Yep, you did. But I'll be honest with you, I think there's a couple of things uh, not quite right with the game. Well, what do you mean? Well, for instance, that oven. There's no way to tell which oven is the correct one, which one is the hottest. And so, uh, you know, I think that was something that wasn't quite finished. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, it could have been a different person's game, no matter depending on if those we could have told which ovens were actually the hot ones and the ones that we needed to put the pizza in. I think if the game had truly been finished, I mean, uh, some people believe that the game wasn't quite finished yet, although it was released in Brazil. So, uh, if any of you know uh, the trick to figuring out which oven truly is the hot one that you're supposed to put the pizza in, let us know in the comments section below. Um, most of the time it was just luck of the draw for either one of us, but regardless, it's still a really underrated game and we had a lot of fun playing it. So until next time, I am Anthony Gamer and I'm Larry, Larry the Lion and uh, next time we're going to play a game that I choose uh, since whoever chooses the game, uh, the other person gets to go first. Right, that's our tradition. Yep, and next time we're going to play Skydiver. Oh, cool. Well, we look forward to seeing you guys then. Until that time, I'm Anthony Gamer and I'm Larry, Larry the Lion wishing you a great week. Until next time, be strong, be safe, be happy, be healthy and above all, Take care of each other and be kind to each other and stop hate of all kinds. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye, everyone.